So we have natural surfactant and synthetic surfactants. And as I said, we don't have many synthetic surfactants anymore. And natural surfactants have been shown to have better effect and outcome. Uh, KL4, uh, which was a substitute for upper protein B, had been synthesized and the surfactant called leucinactin was licensed, but now it's so in UAE as well as in UK, we have uh, biractant alpha, which is minced bovine lung preparation or Salvanta, and poractant alpha, which is minced porcine lung preparation or Curacao. Both of these have been well established, uh, have been in use for about 15 years plus. And uh, Curacao is poractant alpha. It's a smaller volume compared to uh, Salvanta for a similar dose. It comes in 1.25 and 2.5 ml vials. 120 milligram and 240 milligram of surfactant respectively. Uh, studies have shown that initial higher dose, especially studies by Professor Ramnathan, have shown that a higher dose at 200 milligram per kilogram for the initial dose and 100 milligram per kilogram for subsequent dose gives a better outcome. In the extreme uh, low birth weight babies, the survival is better for the higher initial dose and the number of repeat doses needed are lower because the half-life of the surfactant ensures that surfactant stays in the lung for longer after the higher initial dose. Servanta uh, comes in 8 ml vials and the dose is 100 milligram per kilogram of phospholipid or 4 ml per kilo for both initial and repeat dose. Because the volume is a bit long, larger in the extreme preterm babies, uh, slightly uh, more incidence of bradycardia or desaturation during the installation, but in units which use them routinely, uh, we don't see much of an effect. So the volume advantage is a slight one and the long-term outcome advantage is a potentially useful one as well for Curacao. The higher initial dose uh, and the lower uh, rate of needing subsequent doses is also an advantage. So uh, on balance, a slight advantage to Curacao, cost effectiveness and other factors may have to be considered. 